Over the past few years, the use of Dyneema cord on multi-pitch routes has become commonplace. It's used as a tagline for hauling sacks and rappelling. Climbers also frequently use loops of Dyneema cord for protection and rappel anchors. Dyneema is exceptionally strong and light and stretches very little when loaded. However, Dyneema has a very low friction coefficient and care must be taken when tying knots. Many knots which work perfectly well with nylon cord slip when used with Dyneema, even under moderate loads. We are at the equipment testing facility at the French Guide School in Chamonix and we're going to test several knots which are commonly used to tie ropes together. We'll be using a hydraulic jack and a dynamometer. Overhand knots slip under a load of between 120 and 300 decanewtons. These values are well below those required for a belay or even a rappel anchor. Overhand knots should not be used for rappel anchors with any type of cord. The simple fisherman's knot slips when loaded with a force of between 200 and 300 decanewtons. These values are well below those required for a belay anchor or even a rappel anchor. A tape knot will slide under a load of between 190 and 250 decanewtons. These values are well below those required for a belay anchor or a rappel anchor. The triple fisherman's knot fails at 820 decanewtons. We recommend you use this knot when making loops of rope with Dyneema cord. This test demonstrates that a simple overhand knot is adequate for retrieving a rope after rappelling. It slips under a load of between 300 and 450 decanewtons, which is enough for pulling the rope down. When placed against the myon which is small enough to block it, a simple overhand knot breaks at a load of 1,400 decanewtons. If the myon is too big, the knot may get forced through it. During this test, that only happened under a load of 1,020 decanewtons, a value which is easily sufficient for rappelling safely. An overhand knot joining two dynamic ropes will slip under a load of between 200 and 500 decanewtons. This is sufficient for rappelling on, however the knot should be made at least 30 centimeters from the end of the ropes to allow for slippage. A figure 8 knot will start slipping in a load of around 200 decanewtons. It will flip, then block and eventually break when loaded to 700 decanewtons. These values are easily sufficient for a rappel. Be careful never to place a thinner rope in the mayon. If you do so, 
The knot will descend with you because the thicker rope doesn't slide through the rappel devices easily. When rappelling on ropes of different diameters, you should always pass the thicker rope through the maillot and ensure that the knot is jammed up against it. All knots will slip when loaded. When tying ropes together for a rappel, it is important to leave at least 30 centimeters of rope behind the knot. If you rappel off a loop of Dyneema cord, you should close the loop with a triple fisherman's knot. With nylon cord, a double fisherman's or a tape knot is sufficient. <laughs>